One of the really great features about Kahoot and a lot of these other online tools are their sharing capabilities. No longer do you have to do all of the work, but rather you can share that um, work among and divide that work among your four department mates. So you could have um, all of you kind of take turns putting together these Kahoots, these, these review activities, uh, and share them with one another, especially as we move towards common formative assessments. Uh, this makes it super simple, um, where one of you can do the work and share it with the others and kind of take turns and divide that up. Uh, um, so first of all, what I'm going to show you how to do is actually go through the process of sharing. So what you're going to do from your main Kahoot screen is you're going to just click the little me up top here and it's going to bring you up to all the Kahoots that you have created or that you have added um, to yourself. And I'm just going to go ahead and share one of these Kahoots. I'm going to share this one here, Population Pyramids. Um, and all you need to do, it's super simple, is you just click the sharing button over here really easy and then you start typing the username of the person that you are sharing with. That is a little bit of a downside that you have to know their username but once you know it you go ahead and share it. So I'm going to share it with Mr. Ditlovson and to do that I just start typing in whoop, his name E. Ditlev, which is his Kahoot name um, and once I've got that there, there we go um, I just select his username and then I click share. And it's really that simple. Um, and just like that, it is shared. Um, and now next time Mr. DeLivson goes on and signs into Kahoot, and, um, instead of clicking on the Kahoots that are created by him, he'll go over here and click shared with me. Um, so that's how you share. Really easy. It takes, you know, all of 15 seconds. Speaking of sharing, all right, so let's go see what has been shared with me. And I can see that there are different quizzes that have been shared with me. For example, Mr. DeLivson uh, shared with me a Middle Eastern quiz. Um, I can play that straight away right now um, as is. No, you know, no change is necessary. I don't even need to look at it. I could just launch that Kahoot. I could also look at it to see which questions he put on there. Um, and I could also duplicate and make a copy of this quiz if I wanted to tweak some of the questions, take some out, add some questions, put my own unique spin on it. And to do that, I would just click duplicate uh, and that's going to bring it back over now into the created by me tab um, and it's going to tell me that I need to continue editing to play it um, and before I can go ahead and play this quiz, uh, this Kahoot that Ditlifson shared with me, I would continue the editing. Um, and then the editing process is just the same as it would be for any type of Kahoot that you've created yourself, which we covered in a previous video. All right, so that's how you share your Kahoots, and that's how you receive shared Kahoots. But let's say you want to see what else is out there. After all, these Kahoots, they're public. And we can see that there are over 200,000 public Kahoots. Some of them are outstanding. Some of them are probably complete garbage. Um, but when you find those gems, it's definitely worthwhile, right? So for example, let's say I want to find something to do with a quadratic equation. And I can see when I bring up that search, it brings me all kinds of different cahoots. Um, and I can check through a few of them. And for the purpose of this, I'm just going to take a look at this one here, solving quadratic equations review, um, 16 questions. I could play it straight away without previewing it, wouldn't recommend. I could favorite it, um, not knowing if it's my favorite or not, not going to do that. But what I am going to do is take a look at it. And I can see all of the questions uh, that this uh, user has have have added. I can also see the answers. Um, if I'm a math person, I'll probably actually solve that to see if it's correct and make sure that you know it is in fact a, a good Kahoot to use. Um, I can see you know how long it is, how many choices, and everything. Um, great, and I could then just play it straight away from there, uh, or what I could do, I could click back, and if I really like that Kahoot, but maybe it's got too many questions, 16 questions, probably too many, I tend to keep my Kahoots anywhere from the neighborhood of 8 to 12, keep them short and sweet. Um, so what I can do is I can use that duplicate feature um, that we covered in the last uh, a minute or two ago, and I could then go in and remove some of those questions and put my own unique spin on it. Um, so there you go. Uh, we talked about how easy it is to actually share. Uh, we talked about how easy it is to work with a shared Kahoot, and we talked about how easy it is to find a Kahoot out there that somebody else created. Uh, now that you know that, uh, get to sharing and get to Kahooting. Best of luck.